bad for kids. Honestly here, right, of the thousands of different surveys we've featured over the years on this show, I can honestly say this morning's UNICEF, or United Nations Children's Fund report, into the experience of childhood internationally, makes the most depressing reading of all. UNICEF claims British kids had the worst childhood in the industrialised world. Despite being the fifth richest nation on the planet, our children are the least happy, the most neglected, the worst educated in the industrialised world. The UN looked at uh, 40 different factors in 21 different countries. Poverty, family relationships, health, education, sex, drink, bullying, drugs, violence. Holland, Sweden and Denmark came top. Uh, children in the Netherlands, right? I mean, they have easy access to cannabis, to sex, and the, but the Dutch philosophy is, uh, is let them be free. And it seems to be working. Of the, of, of the opinions of the young over there are listened to. There's no homework, for example, until they reach 10. And it's the young who are shown respect by adults. That's the sort of principle. And the young then return that respect in spades. And the Netherlands always does well in these kind of surveys, but... We don't really want to live there, though, do we? Flat, boring place. Perhaps more worrying is the fact that our kids are having a worse time than those in Hungary, the Czech Republic, and, God help us, even the United States. Our government says uh, the UN report is based on old data, claims its initiatives, so the government's initiatives to combat uh, child poverty, teen pregnancy, smoking, drinking, have helped improve life for your average British child. But 16% of our kids are still living below the poverty line when we're the fifth richest nation in the world. We still have the highest teen pregnancy rate in Europe, the second highest rate of family breakdown after the States. British kids don't even like other British kids. Nearly 60% think their peers are mean-spirited, Larry. Uh, in a moment, your calls, by the way. What do you... Well, John, you look like you've had enough already. <laughs> well, it's so depressing, it isn't is it? It is depressing. Is it true? But what you just said is, uh, oh, where am I living here? That's what I felt. Why like. am I bringing my four children up in this country if it's going to be like that? Why? Well, that's, that's a good why question. Why are you in Australia? Why, are so, why do so many people want to come to this country? Because this, all, everything you say may be true. It may be, you know, you may have high teen pregnancy, you may have, you know, binge drinking, you may have all the drugs. But the fact is that we are a fundamentally individualistic, creative country. And we bring our children up to feel like individuals. That's why. We, how many fantastic pop stars come out of the Netherlands? Not many. How many? Why are all the fashion houses of Europe staffed by... British people, because we have a sense of ourselves. I mean, I personally would rather die than bring my children up in France, for example, where all, they're like little horrible robot children. They're all exactly the same. They all toe the line. They do what their parents say. You know, you look at they're like little Chanel clones when they get to about 20. The same, you see the same in Catholic countries like Italy, Spain, Portugal. You get the same thing. About, the family's very strong, but it's stultifying for young people. I think much better to be brought up here. And maybe... Despite the fact that British kids are wandering around, they don't even like their mates. No, being disaffected is part of being a kid don't you think? And that's what spurs you on to, to create great things. I mean, I don't want some kind of happy, smiley child. I want a child who's got something to say, who's got something to fight against. That's what makes us exciting as a country. But, how do you feel about this, really? No, I do. I absolutely do. No, 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 no. You see, you come from, you come from the land of, you know, happy kind of happy, smiley people. I, don't, I come from this country, and I'm proud of the fact that we, we are disaffected. We do moan, we grow adults. What about so those? Kids. I mean, you, you come from an educated, uh, you come from a well-educated family. You, 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 state, you, state educated. State educated, but well-educated. You know? What about these that, that, that are below the poverty line, 16% below the poverty line in the country? They're not yes. having great well, opportunities. Well, of course they are, but let's go, to, let's go to France and look at Paris, and let's go outside the centre of Paris. There are lots of people living below the poverty line. If you happen to be Algerian, for example, mm. I don't think you have that good a life in France, Either. Okay. I think there are bad things to say about every country, but I think that we should not be putting ourselves down. We should remember that the fact that we don't have these you know, great cohesive families, the fact that we are a very mobile population, has great pluses as well as minuses. Okay, what do you reckon, Sarah? What about this respect issue that in Holland, the, the, the adults are encouraged to show respect to children, to listen to their opinions, to value and treasure what they have to say? In this country, all we hear about is why young people should show respect to adults. It, we, I think there's fundamentally a problem here in that, that respect is something that you, you, des, you earn. You don't, no one should show respect to anyone. If, if someone isn't showing, you, isn't showing you any respect, it's probably because you don't deserve it. Mm. And, uh, but also you're not taught it, and that's the other problem here. I, I think a lot of this problem now is that I don't think we do um, let children... Uh, flourish but also I don't think children have guidelines and since the breakdown in religion and the breakdown in a family unit and I don't mean um, mother and father necessarily I mean they don't see their grandparents or their aunts yes. or their uncles extended family, extended family. and 
and actually children need rules and guidelines and and we're not I'm sure this this survey isn't talking about the fortunate few children who come from happy families with great education. What about, what about Sarah? I'm just, it's just a thought that crosses my mind. Maybe things have taken a turn for the worse. Do you think the experience of a child today in this country is equal to the experience that you had as a child in this country? Or is not as good? I, I suspect it's probably not as good. And I, I think too. a lot of that is the media. My, my father was brought up in the Welsh um, valleys, or hills really more, in the kind of 1930s. And he always said to me when I was a teenager, he'd say, go on, pierce your nose. Go on, do different colours in your hair. Because he said to me that those days that we now think are halcyon actually were very claustrophobic for young people because you couldn't see. So you think, you think that kids in today many, have just as much fun, have just as fulfilling... Uh, in a as different fulfilling way. As... Freedom is not something that we should take lightly because kids in the past didn't have that freedom and I would personally like my I enjoy the fact that my children have a freedom that they but didn't they have. But they still have guidelines. Your children aren't aren't told, oh you can eat all the sweets you want all day. That's yeah, but fine. I think it's you good for example breakfast. that it's no longer acceptable to beat your children. When I was at school there were kids in my class who were beaten at home. That on the whole okay. doesn't I, We're not now. talking about going back in history here are we though? We're not saying let it was better how it used to be. What we're saying is the issues about today that aren't ideal mm. and I think that you need to have role models who are either your parents mm. or your teachers or the police or, or somebody to yeah. do with religion. I tell you what, I, I do get the feeling that we could have done with Larry Turner talking to the United Nations, actually, yeah. giving up <laughs> a more spirits of defence. Uh, let's throw it open to you. I'm genuinely fascinated what you have to say here. Do you think British kids are really having the worst childhood in the industrialised world? Let's hear what you have to say.